Welcome to my new home in Tulsa, Oklahoma. There are things about this house that I love so much. First off, the exterior architecture is phenomenal. I've never had a house like this before. I've never even dreamed of owning a home like this before. As you walk into the house, there's a beautiful entryway, and what I love is the architecture that gives me this vintage, well-established neighborhood. The neighborhood looks sort of like either from Home Alone or Father of the Bride, which was actually specifically on my list of things I wanted to find in a new home. So you walk in here, and what do you see? This beautiful grand staircase with the beautiful wood posts, all hardwood floors, and then a couple of arches on either side. show you this closet it's really cute it actually has a window to the outside and to me this would be the place where I put my mops and my vacuum cleaner and I don't know I'm sure I'll have a ton of things I need to put in there do not be fooled by this like contraption <laughs> yes this is used to be the camera to the front gate yeah back in the day probably in the 80s I'm thinking 90s Hello, oh, UPS, all right, well, here, let me open the front gate and you can leave the packages on the inside. Ooh, that would be Amazon today. I need a new one. But there's also this nice powder room. A small powder room, I'll probably redo this eventually, but look, this is probably the world's smallest sink, but you don't need a large sink in a powder room. And then I'll put my Toto toilet in here, redo the wall textures. But it's, you know, it's a nice size little powder room and it's great. It's the only bathroom on this floor. Now if you go this direction, let me take you, there's a couple of steps down into what we now call the living room. Here we go from, I think, nine foot ceilings in there to 10 foot ceilings in here, which gives it so much more of a grandness. Love this chateau type fireplace. Look at it, it's very subtle, but absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to have a fire in the fireplace. And speaking of fire in the fireplace, it's snowing outside. You guys, if you've watched me for very long, you know that I love snow. Now, do I wanna live in Minnesota and have to shovel out every day? No, but Tulsa gets it every now and then. And from what I understand, this week that I'm moving into my house is supposed to be one of the coldest weeks in the last 20 years in Tulsa and we're expecting some snow. So this is gonna be super fun. Now, I'm not sure that the people who are moving me in are gonna think it's nearly as fun as I do, but I'll be inside with some hot chocolate, maybe a glass of wine, and definitely with the fireplaces roaring. I note some really interesting detail, like eight inch baseboards, but take a look here. These stairs have actual vented lights in them, so at night you have a gentle glow of light so you don't trip down or up the stairs. Now that's a good thing for someone my age, right? Because they say when you break your hip, it's the beginning of the end. But can I just say, my neighborhood is so beautiful and I love looking out these windows and seeing all these gorgeous homes surrounding me. And I absolutely love the fact that my whole house is gated and it has a brick wall all the way around it, super secure. And I'm going to install a ton of security cameras. So if you're a bad guy, don't even go there. The house also has sconces already in here. Now, these will likely change eventually, but it's kind of fun to have those now. And you know, with my current and existing furniture I have, I think they're gonna go great. Take a look here. Remember I told you when you walk into this living room, there's an arch and an arch, but there's one here too. And you know what this is too? This is to the breakfast room, which I'm also gonna use as my dining room. Let me just tell you, the homeowner loves this light fixture, and I said, you know what, you may keep it. I have one I'm gonna put there, so it worked out for everybody. But look, this looks out into my backyard, which has a really beautiful pool. So up on into the kitchen, and I can close that door behind me. This door takes me to my really large basement downstairs, but 
right here is a little storage closet. And I have got plans for this storage closet that will blow your mind. The homeowner decided, you know, if I'm gonna put this on the market, I need to redo this kitchen because it hasn't been redone in years. So she went ahead and she did a brand new kitchen. So brand new, let me show you this. You don't believe me? Yeah, haven't even used the oven. Now, the way I cook, this will probably still look like this a couple months from now. <laughs> no, I boil water and stuff because I make, you know, cup of noodles and yeah, I do that. I give kudos to the last homeowner because by doing what she did, even though it may not be 100% my taste, it really did help me decide to buy this house. I think if I'd have looked at the price and the kitchen needed to be redone, I would have gone, ugh, too much work. But she got it to a place where I can live here and I can enjoy it for quite some time. This room was a dedicated dining room. I don't need a breakfast room and a dining room. I'm only one person and I don't entertain that often at a sit down table. So this is going to be my family room. Now here's one of the reasons why I thought this would be perfect. You see this wall right here? Look at it, it has an art light on it. Do you see the halo of light? This is where I'm gonna put my television. Yeah, it's one of the things in these older homes, you know, they didn't used to put televisions on the wall. Well, actually back in the day when the house was built, let's be honest, they didn't have televisions. <laughs> so it wasn't a thing. But here, I think right here, a television, window treatments on either side of these windows, put my sofas in here, make it really comfortable and fabulous and look right on into the kitchen. I think this is where most of the living is gonna be taking place in this house. Super cozy and beautiful and a view right outside to the front. And I can see my car as it comes down and, you know, get my trash, get my groceries out of the car. I look like a cheerleader, don't I? All right, one last room downstairs I'm gonna show you and I think it's my favorite room. It's the room that sold me on this house and I'll show you now, it's my new sun room. Do you love the used brick on these walls in here? Oh my gosh, and then these gorgeous arched windows. <gasps> and it has little thin shiplap on the ceiling. I am not actually sure exactly how I'm gonna use this room, but I can tell you I think I'll use it a lot. I might even do like filming the design sessions from here because I think the natural light would be beautiful. I don't know, I feel rather inspired in my new sunroom. What do you think? Upstairs, there's a master bedroom and two guest bedrooms, as well as two bathrooms. Wanna take a look? Let's go. Eventually, I have plans to replace the wood railing because my own personal taste is more modern and it is a little bit more industrial. There's a bedroom here, a bedroom here, a bathroom, and then over there, my master suite. So I've been trying to decide how do I wanna use these bedrooms? Are they all guest rooms? Lord knows I've got family from out of town so I could use the guest rooms. I could also use a kinwoven office and a place where I can you know, just do my design work. A nice size closet up here too. Kind of a lot of square footage. It's actually almost big enough for a, a small bathroom. All right, now guest bedroom two. It's essentially the same amount of square footage but it's just facing another direction. So the lighting will be completely different in here. You know what this is over here? It's so funny. This is, I don't know if it was a water or gas heater, radiator heater, I don't know what it's called. Maybe leave me a comment if you know what it is. Anyway, it's still there. I don't know that I would wanna close it up. It's very vintage and fun, but I'm not quite sure what to put in there. But you know that I will think of something. And then another closet. shelves so it's already kind of like done it could use some updating but for now it's perfect
Now this bathroom is the bathroom that both of those guests would use. It's a full bath. You know what it has in it that's very unusual? It has a toilet and a bidet. And then a corner shower. Now, I gotta say, of all the things that I wanna do in this house eventually is to redo the bathrooms. They all were done before the previous owner bought this house. So they were done more than 20 years ago. And at the time, the technology of these fixtures and faucets was great, but it's very dated now. I'm gonna put this in my SketchUp model and I'm gonna design the perfect bathroom. But the one thing I can tell you is the sink will not be here. A freestanding tub will. Imagine, with this beautiful architecture, the way this drywall is shaped, and looking out this window, can you imagine? I can see it right now. I'd be lying in the tub, bubble bath, you know, like this, looking out at the snow and be thinking, thank you, God, I am so blessed. The master suite has a retreat. Oh my gosh. I've never had a retreat in my bedroom before. That right there is the bedroom, but this right here, it's the retreat. You know, I actually thought maybe I could use this as my design office. It's a little intimate next to my bedroom, but I love design, so why not? Now, I love the fact that the top of this has been lit. What they didn't do was they didn't light each individual shelf. If you ever become a member or are a member of the design sessions, you'll know I light my individual shelves. That's where the magic comes in. Okay, you ready for this? Ah. <laughs> well, we'll have to get some WD-40 for that. All right, welcome to my closet. It's a good sized closet. It's a bigger closet than I've ever had before. And I will make it absolutely fabulous. Probably put in some new light fixtures and stuff, but I just can't wait to get my clothes unboxed and put away. It's about time. How's that? You can have privacy in this room because there are pocket doors on either side leading to the actual bedroom. My bed will go in here. Do you guys know that I have been living out of a suitcase for the last uh, 11 weeks? Yeah, not a suitcase, suitcases, 11 weeks. So I can't wait to get into my own bed and it's gonna be right here and it's gonna be glorious. Now, into the master bathroom. This is gonna cost me some money. Some of you are gonna love the way this bathroom looks now. It's very uh, European, I would say. It's all white marble. And there's things about it I love. I love the first impression of it, but there's things that I don't like. And if you're part of the design sessions or you know my design style, the principles of design that I go by, that I've created, you'll know that I have a thing about flow, right? So we're gonna make some changes to this bathroom, mostly because I want to. 12 by 12 square tiles of marble everywhere. On the floor, on the walls. I'm surprised they didn't do the ceiling. I'm to it, out. it has a bidet and a toilet. It even has a towel warmer. I've put those in people's homes before, but I've never had a towel warmer before. I'm super excited about that. What is it with these? They look like tension rods. I don't know if 20, 25 years ago, this was a thing to put in a shower that looked like this, but remember in the guest bathroom, it's like this too. So it looks like, you know, a tension rod, like you go in and then you put it in and then you let it go and it stays there. I guess in the day, like 20 years ago, this would have been considered a state of the art, like a, like a car wash almost with all these jets coming out. You look at all these buttons. I'd have to wear my glasses in the shower. <laughs> I'm thinking the wall tile goes and maybe the floor tile, but this, maybe this stays because I think this is actually a very beautiful piece of marble. Let me a comment below. What do you think? Let's take a look 
outside at the beautiful backyard. First thing we have is a deck. Now, of course, it's snowing here today, which is so fun. Look at these flurries, oh my gosh. And we have to be careful because it's slippery. This is a babbling brook that goes on all the time outside of my kitchen door. I love it. And then watch this. I can walk to the other side where my guest house is. So this is two story, right over here is my garage, but I can come in from my garage with groceries. There's a cute little area down here and it's right off, look, French doors right off of the pool. And then guess what? Another outdated bathroom, woohoo! So somebody tell me why the toilet's here, a nothing is here, and a little tiny sink is here. The year that they did these bathrooms was the year of the little tiny sinks. And look at this. <laughs> These pull back. This opens and closes. And this, come on, that's some serious high tech stuff right there. There's a phone here. I wonder if this connects to the front gate and says, come on in, make yourself at home. So this, this is a pretty like, I don't know, 60s or 70s kind of staircase and it brings you up to the guest house isn't this fun and it's got this cool ceiling because the architecture of the house and the architecture of the roof I pretty much said well this is what's going to have to look like in here <laughs> over here this is really nice these are amazing storage areas these actually go up and then it has a hoozy what's it That's pretty darn cool. You could do science projects in there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm finding all kinds of cool things in my new house. Why do I feel like there used to be an iguana here? Then in here, what's this? Oh, look at that. Man, they really got efficient with their space. I think I love my new house. What do you guys think? Did I pick good? Let me know with a thumbs up. Say you like this video and leave me a comment because I think I made an amazing decision on this house. And all I can say is where are my pods? Because as soon as they get here, we're unpacking and we're making this house my home.